Welcome to the LA Amp Show. We're here at the Airtel Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles. Um, this is a cool way for people to come in and uh, check out amps and gear and stuff that they wouldn't normally get to check out at the NAMM show or something bigger just because it's so loud at those kind of events. And uh, this is a smaller experience, you know, for the public. Um, basically different uh, manufacturers come in and rent out hotel rooms and that room becomes a booth. It's mostly amps and a couple of guitar makers too. And I'm here with Line 6. So this is just going to be my perspective as a Line 6 product specialist. Okay, here we are, day one of prep for the LA Amp Show. I just thought I'd give you a little insight as to what we do in these type of things. So, here's the room we're in. Just big, uh, this is like the kind of a workbench area inside our warehouse here at Line 6. And we're updating some power cabs, and a spider over there, and Nick and Kyle have gone to hunt down a couple of Helix units, so I'm going to go do that, but I just want to give you the first shot of day one. Basically, when we come in uh, the Kyle two days leading up to the event, really we're just right in the warehouse uh, doing our thing, getting amps ready and getting all the different things up to date, all the Helix units up to date, uh, Spider 5s, whatever other kind of stuff we have to do. I'm here at the Airtel plaza hotel which is behind the van Nuys airport this is where um, the la amp show is going on so i'm gonna go in and hopefully give everybody uh, a little preview sorry the sun is in my eyes but um you can kind of see the airport there and the back of the hotel here it's not super glamorous i'm going to try to go through here today give everybody a little um insight of what goes on in a normal day uh, at something like this, an event, and uh, probably check out some amps and maybe some guitars and probably play a little bit or maybe get some video of some other cats playing and uh, I don't know, try to have a little fun. So uh, let's check it out. Perfect timing. Is that Tony Campanovo? Tony Nick Bell. What's up, bro? We'll probably get some video of Nick Shred today. Nick's awesome. This is Nick's sweet ride. And you know, Tony keeps my morale up, so. My first stop for the day was the Eventide booth uh, because it was directly across from our booth. So I stopped in to see my old pal Joe Cozy. Right. There you go, my good friend Joe Cozy. Hi, everybody. Eventide. Welcome to the Amp Show. We're here in the Eventide booth just hanging out, checking out some of the sounds from the H9000, uh, Eventide's flagship processor. I have an RJM Mastermind GT controlling the H9000 via MIDI. Joe was a really knowledgeable guy. Um, he actually worked for Line 6 before me, and I actually came in when he went over to Eventide and uh, took over as product specialist for the southeast region of the United States. But I always see Joe at the events. He's a really good guy, nice guy, very good at what he does, um, just knows a lot about the gear, covers a lot of ground, does a lot for Eventide. I pretty much could have sat in here all day with these luscious sounds. And now we venture over into my world. This is uh, the Line 6 Yamaha Guitar Group room. Andy Winston from Yamaha. This is the man right here. He's the guy. If he's happy with you, you're okay. 
Yes, sir. As long as Andy is not mad at you, life is Oh! Good. Andy Winston is great at what he does. Uh, he has been with Yamaha Guitars for a while. Before that, he actually uh, was just out on the scene in uh, L.A. here doing his own thing, you know, doing the rockabilly thing. And uh, he's a great demonstrator. He knows uh, some interesting people as well. Hi, my name is Jeff Floro, and I do a show called Jeff Floro All About Guitar on L.A. Talk Radio every Monday at 8 o'clock. And Andy's been on several times, and hopefully we'll get you guys on. He's very cool. Bring some great stuff. And then we'll check out Nick Bell over here. Uh, Nick's just doing his thing, uh, already working. Um, Nick knows a ton about everything Line 6 makes. He's uh, better at understanding the gear and, and making the gear sound good than most people that I can think of. And he's great if you ever have tech questions or somebody comes in and you need some solid advice or just a guitar lesson. This is Voitech and Merrick from uh, MLC Amps. Um, these guys are super cool. They build some crazy amplifiers, and um, I actually came in and jammed on their stuff for a while as well. This footage was actually shot on a cell phone because. Uh, I didn't have my camera with me at the time. Uh, then we have Todd Sharp amps. I got to jam on these, but uh, didn't get any of it recorded. But uh, <laughs> these are great sounding tube amps, and uh, I just stopped in to uh, see some of the colorful characters hanging out. Which are they? Your guitar. Oh, no, I don't. I don't oh, you know. Yeah, I could if I want. Yeah, I could if I want, but I don't. Could actually be set up. Kevin Jolly is a really cool guy. I just met him this year. Uh, works for Ele Electro Harmonics and uh, demo stuff and reps and does a lot of the same kind of stuff I do. And uh, I was really checking out this Pog too. It really gets a cool Kurt Rosenwinkel vibe uh, if you're into that kind of guitar sound. So uh, I had to check it out. This is Kyle. Well, uh, um, he's our product specialist, so supervisor. Um, he's a lot of fun. Good time hanging with him. He's a punk rocker and an airsoft enthusiast. I don't know. So yeah, that's my perspective. You have a reason to be here because you are affiliated with Yamaha Guitar Group. It's true. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here to babysit. <laughs>
Red Sox. <laughs> so, okay, so if you could wrap up, you could give us your perspective of this whole thing. I don't know. Just a couple of sentences. It's a, uh, it's a unique opportunity for people in the L.A. area who don't go to other shows to check gear out. Uh, you see a lot of people bring their own stuff, which is cool, because they want to like plug in with their own guitars and whatnot. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, we're taking all the opportunities we can to show off our gear wherever people are showing gear. Pretty much the best thing about my job is just that I get to play guitar a lot. Um, doing demos and doing uh, clinics for public events, you know, at retailers. And these kind of expos are a lot of fun because we just sit around and play guitar. You know, after we, after the work is done, we just sit around and play and tell people about the gear. And uh, I mean, if you have to have a real job, that's the best I can think of. So I really can't complain. Again, sorry the gain was up so loud on the mic when I did this. Uh, I didn't realize how loud it was. Sorry. My first attempt at a video of this style, so I'll try to do better in the future. I've already learned a lot doing this one. This is a Yamaha Revstar, and I've got it going into a Helix into a Power Cab 212. Uh, Line 6 also makes the Power Cab 112, um, and sometimes I run two in stereo, but we had the 212 Plus there, and it's just got such a great sound. Just a lot of nice low end, plenty of mids, and a lot of highs if you're into highs, but I tend to avoid uh, too many highs. Great guitar, great setup. These guitars are all easy to play, and they sound good, so... I never have trouble getting the sound that I like on them. They have a very warm, buttery, dark sound with a little brown sugar. And towards the end of the day, uh, you can always see the vibe kind of loosens up and everybody's just uh, tired, but in a good mood. And uh, that's when my buddies from Shabbat Guitars came over and brought a, one of their custom-made guitars. Sweet, sweet guitars. Really glad he brought it by for everybody to check out. I'll put links to this stuff uh, down below. Tony, I think I'm done listening to Blues Licks. What do you say? Weird that you would say that. Why is that? We just don't hear much of those here. So you see my point. And thus ends another uh, LA Amp show. This happens every October. Um, and it's really fun for people who want to come check out all this gear and have a real opportunity to check it out. Um, play any of the amps and crank it up as loud as you want.